on the beach that was near the water as I was walking out towards it about two miles. As I came back, all those steps were gone. And it made me really think about the fact that there's so many things that we think are permanent, that we've done, that we've experienced, that are there. And realistically, it, it, it's, it's like the ebb and flow of life. Whether you've been married one or 20 plus years, at some point, you realize you were married into crazy. And that's what our podcast is all about. We offer love, laughter, and a dose of reality as we unpack this crazy thing called marriage. So sit back, relax, and get your ear hustle on. It's time to start the conversation. All right, let's go. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, E.T. Look, if you're looking to or you got to raise the bar on your marriage, you got to you gotta click the link and get into Married in the Crazy, y'all. I'm telling you, this coaching is going to take your relationship to another level. Now, look, you already know you need to raise the bar. You know that already. So stop thinking or overthinking. Click that link and Marriage in the Crazy is going to take you and your spouse to marital bliss. Now you know. Click the button. Let's go. Hey, everyone. This is Lovey. And just wanted to touch bases with you and let you know that this upcoming episode that you're about to hear was recorded while we were live in Turks and Caicos. But this is going to be the last episode that you hear from us um, for a little while. We're taking a hiatus. Upon our return from Turks and Caicos, uh, we suffered a family tragedy. Um, Our son was murdered and we are in the midst of processing and dealing with all the things that go along with that. This is new territory for us, and we're focused on our family and on our marriage to ensure that we're able to stand in the gap for each other and to still do the things necessary as we discover on a daily basis. Not to detract from this particular episode, there will be others that you can go into in our archive. I may place more episodes out there from the archive, but if you feel a need to hear more, there's a a vast amount of interviews, um, nuggets, different things that we've discussed. So we hope you enjoy this particular episode, and we ask that you keep us and our family in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Welcome to another episode of Married into Crazy (laughs) with Snicks and Lovey. I'm Lovey. I'm Snicks. And we're actually coming to you live from Turks and Caicos. Couldn't think of a better setting than to actually have this uh, quick conversation um, in this particular episode. So first off, how was vacation? Uh, <laughs> vacation was great. Um, so, oops. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um, so vacation was great, but as in anything, there are some challenges that uh, we had to kind of navigate. Um, I had, uh, so I'm, I'm in school. We planned this trip two years ago, and this is before I started my master's program, so I didn't want to not um, just say, no, we're not going to go, or take a week off from school. I was like, no, I'm going to get it in and fit it in however I can, and um, that kind of took away a little bit. There was some stress, but it is what it is. Came here stress, to enjoy it. <laughs> stress meaning she was in the bathroom crying, in the bedroom crying, in the living room crying? No, I wasn't. Maybe in the living room. No. But um, then I had a severe, severe, severe allergic reaction to something. I know that I'm allergic to fresh cut grass, but I don't think that that's what it was, not to affect me the way that it did. I um, instantly, well, not instantly, but I ex- just exploded. Exploded. It was like, I don't know if you guys ever seen that movie. Um, Hitch. Os- no, not Hitch. Oh, Austin Powers. Uh, the ev- uh, evolution. Remember when they threw the fire on the th- on the thing and it. No. Anyway, so it was kind of like that. It was like an eruption of something, and I swell up. I did look like Hitch in the face, but my tongue also um, and the uvula. That's what it's the uvula, my, yeah. Okay, that swelled up too. So it was hard for me to swallow and Talk. try to be rushed to the emergency and. Her tongue was like three times the size of her normal tongue. She couldn't talk. Nobody could understand her. It was crazy. 
freaked out. The staff here at Beaches and Turks and Caicos oh, were absolutely they were amazing. Absolutely amazing. Russia, they didn't want to wait for an ambulance. They grabbed a driver, rushed her out to the hospital. We're there. Um, the Turks and Caicos Island um, Hospital, amazing staff. They were very attentive, <laughs> took care of her. Why are you laughing? Because the doctor, um, he came in when we, well, I think it might have been a nurse. He, when I walked in, he looked at me. And then he just looked away, he looked at me again, and I told him, I said, I saw how you looked at me. And he said, how was that? Like, what the heck is going on? I said, exactly. He kind of understood me, so, yeah. but that was funny, but anyway. It was, it was an amazing trip. So here's the thing. We didn't get into it very on, but we, don't hit the table, please. Oh, um, sorry. Because it keeps wobbling. Oh. <laughs> uh, we haven't uh, gotten into it, but we are a couple that's been married for 26 years. We are blessed to have um, our family here with us in Turks and Caicos. There's but then 21 of us here. We're blessed to have 21 individuals to actually join us in this entire group. It was amazing. Private dinner for my birthday, um, up in an all-white party. Um, I am the reggae king. Love you, the reggae king. Because I, I won a <laughs> dance contest out here. Um, I wasn't much dancing, but... Um, but I won that. And, and then this competition wasn't all that, so nah. <laughs> And then uh, last night, uh, to finish it off, our family was selected to go play Family Feud, and we ended up winning that as well. We so I'm coming it. home with two trophies. We're coming home. Oh, we're yeah. We're coming home with two trophies. Seriously? I'm coming home with three trophies, those two and my trophy mm -hmm. wife. And it was amazing. You know, the, the one thing we want to talk about, because we have to move quickly, is that... You just never know. This uh, almost about half the time. I was taking walks on the beach. I would go running, and this morning, in the last walk, as I was walking along the beach, I realized that the steps that I saw on the beach that was near the water, as I was walking out towards it, about two miles, as I came back, all those steps were gone, and it made me really think about the fact that there's so many things that we think are permanent, that we've done, that we've experienced, that are there, and realistically it, it, it's it's like the ebb and flow of life within marriage there's an ebb and flow there's seasons as well we've discussed this in a variety of different ways but the thing I want everyone to think about and take away is just because you have a bad argument doesn't mean you have a bad marriage mm -hmm. just because you have a bad moment doesn't mean you're gonna have a bad day and it really got me thinking about even here there were challenges within the family there were flare-ups as family will do there's bickering my daughters are bickering right now. Right now, now yeah. Um, but those things are short term. They're very superficial. Mm -hmm. They go away. But we have, a, we have to give them their time. We have to give them their space. And we also have the maturity to recognize that this is but a moment in time. And I, and I like how you said maturity because a lot of times, you know, we, we've also talked about this before. The action that someone does in the moment, that action doesn't make them that. I mean, unless that's just part of their character. Sometimes when we do things or we say things because in, in the heat of the moment, um, I'm upset and so now I'm slamming doors or, or whatever. I'm not a B word, you know, all the time. <laughs> Maybe in that moment, but um, wow, <laughs> really? No, no, but, no, 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 no. Just... <laughs> but you know, it, 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 we need to have, allow some grace too, because things happen and we have to learn how to navigate, like you said, the ebb and flow of um, getting through challenges, going through life. Not everything is gonna be, nothing is linear, you know. Mm. Nothing is linear. Everything, there's a moving and, you know, even with Isaiah. So, you know, we brought our our grandson with us. Woo. And we, were, we struggled, honestly, to were we gonna bring him, were we not gonna bring him? just because of some of the challenges that, you know, we've, we've been going through. But we decided to bring him best decision ever. Best decision ever. Even though there have been some challenges, you know. Right. Challenges? Been trying to, His bad moment didn't turn into a bad day. Yeah. And we're able to help him shift. And even my bad moment didn't make me a bad grandfather. It's just one of those things where we have a challenge. We have to recognize that's all it is in that moment, that challenge. It doesn't have to persist. It's not chronic. It's not persistent. It's only in the moment. And we have to have the willingness to see beyond that particular moment as well. Yeah, exactly. And, and the commitment, you know, you have to be committed. Stay committed to the commitments that you made. Um, and like Lovey said, in that moment, 
I might need, you need to give me 10 feet, give me 10 minutes or whatever. But make sure, don't let that 10 minutes turn into 10 hours, turn into 10 weeks, turn into 10 months or whatever it is. Um, make sure that you come back and revisit. Um, okay, this is what happened. You know, let's, let's, let's have a conversation about it and not take it personal. You know, like he said, our daughters love them to death, but good Lord, everything is not a, a personal attack. You know, right. it's not always meant for you. It, it just could be something that just happened. So, and one of the things I, I want to point out that's something that we experienced while we were here. Um, again, this is beaches, Tur uh, Turks and Caicos, and uh, we should be getting paid for that, but we're not. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying it because we really thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, the staff here has been top notch, amazing. The families that we've met and interacted with, you know, it's just been a lot of fun. And but one thing I want to talk about being as well is being undeniable. One of the things that we talk about with the King's Accountability Group, our mantra for the year is be undeniable. And Snooks was undeniable. When we arrived, we were supposed to have an ocean view and they put us in a room that had a, a phenomenal view of, 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 of a tarp <laughs> that was blocking construction that's being built. They're building on a whole new village right next to us over here. And now, mind you, it was a, a nice, pretty tarp of sandals and all that's coming, but that's not what we, I was like, wait, what happened here? So. Exactly. And, and so, the first day, let it go, like, oh, this sucks, you know, but hey, you know what, we're in Turks and Caicos, it could be worse. And then uh, the next day, it was like, ah, you know, I want to go sit on the balcony and watch the sunset or the sunrise. Couldn't do it because of the tarp. So, finally, uh, we arrived on a Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. And so, it was Thursday morning when we went into the concierge and we're like, hey, you know what, we just explained, this isn't what we expected, you know, because they want to know, how's your, how's the trip? Eh, it's okay. And they're like, what do you mean? So we got into it. And then Snooks was like, I'm just going to be honest with you. She's like, this is not what we've been waiting for for two years. It's and not what we selected, not what we paid for, you know. Exactly. And so by being undeniable, they turned around and gave us a nice credit on the account, mm -hmm. but they also moved us. So we had a choice. And a lot of times it comes down to choices we have to make as well and being undeniable. What is more important to us? So the first thing was, okay, we can move you today, but you'll have a partial ocean view and, you know, it'll be nice. Similar room, or actually the same type of room, but just not as, but if you wait a day, if you wait one additional day, mm -hmm. we will give you a spectacular view. And it was, and I gotta say, it's just, this. we're on our porch, by the way, on our, yeah, on our patio. Uh, in our back room. We've got three of these that wrap around our room, and this is the view from every single one of the patios. We are here. As a matter of fact, before we got this room, this is where we were hanging out, just yeah, on the beach. Yeah, on the beach, yep. Right there by, um, right here by the room. So it's just amazing that they put us in the exact same place. Mm -hmm. So. Not only does it, the two um, openings open up to the beach, but we also have one off of our bedroom and that opens up to the uh, the pool. So, yeah, being undeniable and, and not being afraid to say, hey, um, hello, <laughs> this is this not, you know, um, this is not what we wanted. This is not what we paid for. This is not what I signed up for and not in a nasty type of way, but just standing your ground, in, so to speak, and just not being afraid to all they could do is say no. Right, exactly. And be undeniable when it comes to your marriage. Be undeniable when it comes to your covenant. I'm not saying deny, deny, deny your spouse. But what I am saying is that you both had a vision of what your marriage was going to be when you first came into it. You had a vision of, I hope you had a vision for what your progress as a couple was going to look like. And the moment that you notice that we're not going in the direction of what we said I do to, be undeniable sit down and have a conversation about where are we going what are we doing this isn't what we both said that we wanted let's commit to the things that we said i do to and be undeniable in our expectation of the of that covenant and create a plan you know i think a lot of times we don't think about we need to create a plan in our marriage we just kind of let's just go for it, which, you know, spontaneous, whatever, but you're talking about longevity. You want to make sure that you have a plan in place, have a vision in place, and have action steps. And I know it sounds so technical. Well, I mean, okay, 
it may be, but you, it doesn't have to be robotic. It can have a, the plan can still be the plan, and it can still feel spontaneous. It can still feel loving. It doesn't have to feel so um, rigid or whatever. Um, but we need to make sure that we have those goals and those visions and everything in our marriages. So if I, so what you can see is activity in the background. To, again, once again, to emphasize how beautiful the scenery is directly off of our patio. It seems like every family, every couple, you know, the beach that's right in front of us, this is the spot that they go to in order to take their we'll pictures. Take their pictures, yeah. So we have four families out there taking pictures right now. So it's pretty funny. But you know what, again, be undeniable when it comes to your marriage. Um, when you see me bow down, recognize I am the reggae king. Ugh. I will dance in front of you. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Ever since the, that night, everyone who was there that recognized him, they were just like, hey, that's the reggae king. Hey, I saw you on stage. You're the reggae king. And even the staff, they're like, reggae king, you know. And I'm just like, you guys, I have to go home with this. So I need you to tone it down oh, just a little bit. You, um, I got to pack you in the luggage because my trophy is <laughs> going to be in your seat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but hey, we just wanted to get a quick one in before we have to actually get our luggage out and take off. Uh, it's been so much going on here that we... We wanted to ensure that we, in a way, brought you along with us. So um, be undeniable in your marriage. Get an opportunity, if you, if you can, please share this podcast. Share it with your friends, your family, your mama, your auntie, your cousin, everybody out there. And um, go to marriedintocrazy.com to see all the different things that we do to support your marriage. There's coaching. There's clothing. There's... Um, raise the bar. There's raise the bar. So you can also go to raisethebarmarriage.com and see an 18 part video series that will allow you to go through your own self-paced training. Um, I'm gonna call it training, just uh, conversations with each other and with us through the video, so to speak. Um, there's curriculum there, um, it, it's highly touted. Go there, you can actually see some testimonials. But look, bottom line is, um, not, uh, not that I'm the reggae king, because <laughs> I am, but uh, be undeniable in your marriage and recognize that a moment is just a moment. Right? Be undeniable in securing you know, a lifetime of happiness within your marriage. And don't let that fleeting moment make you think that you have you know, a bad situation. You know, and be undeniable in showing your love to your spouse, too. Mm. That's important. I mean, sometimes there's so many steps that we, we forget that is actually attached to a person. So we need to make sure that we're showing that person that we love them. I mean, no matter what happens, I know... I know without a doubt, lovey loves me. I know that. I can say that, you know, all day long. Oh, I know he loves me, you know. And not just because we got married in California because it's community property state or anything like there that. You go. But, you know, I'm there just you go. throwing that out there, you know. Oh, and bring bug spray when you come to Turks and Ooh, Caicos. Bring bug spray. It's not horrible, but mm, you will get bit up. I just got bit again right now. So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> until the next time in Turks and Caicos or somewhere else in the world. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Make so, it a series. Right, exactly. Um, until the next time. Be blessed. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.